What you guys got another video here for you. We're going to be going through some basic PowerShell commands for beginners. This is navigating around in PowerShell. Now you can do this in command prompt, but someone wanted to know how to do it in PowerShell. So here you go. So let's create a folder inside our C root directory. I'm going to call this test. This is the folder so we can move files in and out of here. I'm going to put a little text file inside uh, this test folder. Just a blank text file so we can uh, see it moving around. So I'm just going to call this say test. That'll do. And then we can now uh, open up our PowerShell and start to navigate around and show you how to move files around. This can be very useful for beginners. So right click and open up PowerShell with administrator rights. There we go. So we've got PowerShell open with administrator. Now some of the commands here I'm going to go through are pretty basic, but I'll just show you how it all works basically. It's pretty straightforward stuff. So the first one uh, that you'll want to do is you can see here we are in C colon backslash windows backslash system32. If I do get dash location, this will give us the location where we are. Now you can also shorten that command up by just typing a GL which is short for get location. Now that shortening does speed up the process, which will also help when you're typing out a lot of commands quickly. So you'll see me alternate from the main command to the short command, just to give you an idea. So let's set out the set location. So set dash location, C colon backslash, and then test. And this is what we want to do, because this was going to take us to that location. So now I could have also done SL space C colon backslash test and it would have took me there. So let's do LS and it will list all the items in of that directory. You can see there's that test file that we created inside that folder. So what I'm going to do now is move this item. So let's move it to another location. So for that we need to do the move dash item and then space and then we need to type in the file name but I'm just going to show you the shortcut. So it's M I and then space, and then we can put in test.text. So let's go ahead and type that in. So you can see we're using our shortcut here. So test.text, then space, then C colon backslash and the place where you want to put it. So I'm going to now put this in my root directory. So if we take a look here now, by typing ls, you will see that there is no file in the directory that we're in, which is our test folder. And now if we look in our root directory, you'll see that that file has now been moved to our root directory. So this is how you can move files around and navigate around PowerShell. So let's go ahead and now create a new file inside PowerShell. So what I'm going to do here is going to type the command new item. So let's go with say for instance new and then dash item and then space and then we need to create that item name so we're just going to call this uh, say test 2txt or something like that and this will create an item inside of that test folder so now if we take a look at the folder you'll see that I've just created another text file inside of that test folder so that's pretty straightforward stuff. So now what we've done here is we've got the location. We've also set the location. We've viewed files inside those directories. We've created a new item. And now what we're going to do is remove an item by using the remove command. So if you want to remove an item, all you need to do here is type remove dash item and it will remove that item from the directory. So let's go and do remove dash item and then space, and then name the item that you want to remove. In this case, it's test2.text, and that will remove that item from that directory. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the new one that we just created inside our test uh, folder. Now we can list uh, the files here in that directory by typing ls, and you'll see there's no files there because we've just removed it inside this folder. We created it and we've removed it, it's pretty straightforward stuff. So what we want to do next is move a file from the C root directory back into 
that folder. So let's go back to our C root directory. Let's move this file here back into that test folder there. So what we need to do here is we're just going to quickly navigate over to the C root directory because we're in the test folder at the moment and uh, we need to navigate back to the C root directory. So let's go ahead and do that here. This is the more simpler way of doing things once you're when you're learning. So we're going to go SL and then C colon backslash and then leave it like that. And this will put us in our C root directory. Now we can list the files and we can see all the files in our C root directory, which is our program files, test folder and that test file right there. So that is the file that we want to move. So I'm going to move item by typing MI and then test.txt and then we want to put the location where we want it. In this case, it's C colon backslash test. And this will move that item into that folder. Pretty simple stuff. But that's basically how you can move files around and uh, navigate. Now you can see the file has been removed now. It's gone from that area there. So all I need to do here now is to show you the folder and you'll see it's moved back in there. So let's go ahead and go back to that directory. So we're going to go back in there. So set location. And now we need to do C colon backslash test and that will move us back into there. When we list the directory, uh, you'll see all the files uh, all inside that folder and it's been moved. And that's how you can navigate and move files around, delete files, create files inside PowerShell. Very simple stuff, but it's really good to learn because obviously the more you learn about it, the more easy it is when you want to uh, use PowerShell. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.